Gay men in Russia with surrogate children warned they face arrest. LGBT plus community draws breath as state investigators equate single fathers to baby traffickers. Here's a summary of the article. Russian authorities have warned of the arrest of gay men who have fathered children to surrogate mothers, firing what appears to be another salvo across the bow of LGBT plus rights. We plan to arrest a number of suspects, single men, and Russian citizens, who have used surrogate mothers to give birth to children, he added. Mr. Svitnev said his defense of the right for single men to parent surrogate kids was, after fathering his own children, his biggest achievement in life. The right to have children is something given from above. It's as basic as the right to life. According to state media reports, investigators are poised to arrest at least 10 unmarried men on people trafficking laws. Mr. Trunov predicted that number could be the tip of the iceberg, with many more children ending up in care homes. Half of Russian showbiz stars have produced children this way, he said. This post received a score of 23,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Imagine how much you would have to despise homosexuals to even think something like this. Speaking of Jesus, let's see what he has to say on this topic. I am a big fan of Jesus, the radical Jewish socialist. Whip those goddamn moneylenders. When you charge people money to go pray to God and his son comes and personally wrecks your shit and kicks you out. Then his believers start charging money to pray to God. Greater than then a political organization pretending to be his followers start charging you money to pray to him. FTFY. Catholic Churches for the Win. Met a girl six years ago who was convinced by her church that prayers were ignored unless from a priest and the priest charged $15 a pop. I can't make this trash up. Edit. $15 CAD, not USD, to be clear. I feel lucky that my priest was so liberal, at least comparatively. We were never taught that we had to pay for prayers, donations to the church were always voluntary. He was a big believer in service to people in need and the whole God loves everyone thing. I wish all religious leaders, and regular leaders too, were like that. I'm curious, was he ever swapped out with another priest, that you heard of? Meanwhile, actual baby traffickers continue to traffic babies. Of course they have the blessing of the Orthodox Church and the oligarchs though. Can't we just leave these people alone, FFS? Blame religion, specifically the Russian Orthodox Church, who fueled anti-Semitism, encouraged the pogroms and has had its fingers in everything including the leadership. They have the power to ban books, religions and ideas and groups they don't like, and the state goes with it because Russia is the third Rome. God that is such a fucking joke unless we compare Lenin to Tiberius, Stalin to Caligula and Putin to Commodus. Don't forget they rock controlled lawmakers also pushed through the decriminalization of domestic abuse as well as placing the burden of proof on the victim and allowed police to decide to not respond to calls for assistance during active assaults. It's important to make note of the last decade the massive push for anti-LGBT legislation in Russia is how it goes back and forth between the Russian governed evangelical and far-right groups in the U.S. For as much as they say, we're going against the West and the US they've teamed up long ago all this is missing is WCF and Russian Gov saying, Hail Hydra. Hadn't seen that article, bookmarked. I often point people to this post from Buchanan when people wonder why Trump loves Putin so much. It's not confined to Trump. There's a section of American conservatism that looks Putin's homophobia and fascism and thinks, I like that guy. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.